folks, I got some disturbing news for y'all. I was eating a mango the other day, yesterday, and I messed up the underside of my tongue, so now I have a kind of like a lisp when I talk. Suffering fuck attack. So if I sound weird during this video, that's the reason why. But today, I have an interesting one. Can you guess what it is? Look at that. You see this? This is what's happening in that video. Talk about the worst getaway driver in history. Check it out, guys. I know y'all probably saw this. I saw a Roblox version of this. It was hilarious. I don't know what the um the consensus on this video is yet. Is the internet laughing at this? I want to know. Because I had to get... I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of found it funny, but... I still kind of find it funny. Mm. Bro, it's... You can hear the desperation in his voice. Okay, here's what I want to know now, right? Is he like a regular citizen? Or is he like a... What do they call him in the UK? A road man? I want you to pay attention to this... The taxi driver. I'm not gonna say that he shouldn't... What, what you call it, But bro is definitely like... <clears throat> bro is in the backseat getting stabbed up. And he's worried about the car. Screaming, oh my god. I was just in here saying like... Jesus would have probably helped bro out or something, right? My tongue is killing me right now. Jesus would have probably helped the guy out in the back. Watch how he move when he see that cash. Look, all, look, look how fat bro turned into transporter. Instantly. Like Jason Statham or something. He owned it. Listen. Where we going? Where we going? Bro ready to go to Australia if he say so. I'm getting ducked down. I'm getting ducked down. Me tell me, bro is terrified. The taxi driver is terrified, bro. He's terrified, bro. Just put the chain in his drawers. All right, so I'm guessing he's a road man, right? Here's the weird part: if he's a, a road man, right? Cause he's, I'm gonna assume the first call was to his brethren, his uh, fellow roadmen's. And um, the second call was to the police. I don't know how it works in the UK, but I'm going to assume that it works like the streets everywhere and stuff. Like, if you're in the streets, you don't call the police and stuff like that. If you're getting followed, you call your brethren, and then they come do that. So, like, how y'all feel about this UK people? Or sh street guys all over the globe? Because <clears throat> the first call sounded like he called his gang or something like that. And telling them that he just got ran down on by some people with some some of these, you know what I mean? He look, he got one too. That's why I'm assuming that he's not a regular citizen. And he got a huge chain on. He got the little satchel. Oh shit! I got a satchel. I'm not a road man, y'all. I don't live in the UK. The, the only thing we probably have in common is the Jamaican lingo a little bit. I'm Jamaican, you know what I mean? They have a little lingo that has some Jamaican influence in there. It kind of sounds good. Them, them and New York blends it well. Canadians, no. Y'all got to stop it. Don't sound good. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. Oh, God. Yeah, so he called his brethren. I don't know what the hell they were gonna do. What do you? What are they getting prepared for war or something? They getting the machetes and the pitchforks ready? They about to run back down on him, probably, maybe. But then he tucked his chain and then called the cops. 
I'm I'm pretty sure that's against road men rules, right? I'm not too familiar with road men rules. I know street niggas. You know what I mean? I'm familiar with street niggas. But road men, I don't really I'm not too familiar with them. I've heard about them. From like they from like a distant land called the UK or somewhere. They eat scones and they drink tea or something like that. I don't really show, I don't really know. <laughs> Bro, that they follow me. I'm not. I don't want to laugh, but that, this is kind of like I was. This is unintentionally hilarious. Well, there you have it, folks. Stay out of gangs and stay out of uh, roadmen business or something. I don't know what he is. The internet. Please tell me what this guy is. Do some research and some googles. Investigate. I need to find out what's going on with this. Who is this guy? Is he affiliated with something? Cause he had a shank on him too. He had a little, a little shank on him. It looked like he probably got a shank off, and then they juked him back a little bit. Like, you know what I mean? But uncle, I'm not gonna lie. Uncle not moving right. Uncle not moving right, bro. Uncle not moving right. I'm getting stabbed up in the back seat, and you talking about some? Oh my gosh, my car, bro. Really? Come on. This just goes to show you, man. It's a joke, or it's a joke or be joke world, y'all. It's either you the one getting joked or you doing the joking. I don't know what to tell y'all, man. I'm glad, bro, made it out of that alive. I guess. I don't know if they went and got the get back. I don't really know this situation. I want to know if he's gang affiliated. I want to know the story, but what's the context? Cause they knew who they were coming from. They didn't. They didn't get the two, the first two out of this, and that was in the car. It was two guys. It was a guy in the passenger seat and a guy in the back seat as well. They got out. They just got away, and they went for him. They knew who they were going for. He probably did some. Well, I don't know. We need to. We need to get the full story. But that video was wicked and kind of funny. Check out my last video. I'll see y'all in the next one.